the Lee Richardson Zoo with another day of Zookation. Thank you so much for joining us today. And on this day, we are talking about shelters. Shelters is one of the things that animals need to survive, um, especially in the wild. All animals need food, water, shelter, and space. Now, shelter can mean a ton of different things. Even we use shelter. That's what our houses, apartments, anywhere you live, that is going to be your shelter. Shelter is a place where we and other animals can go to get away from bad weather. So a dangerous storm, we go inside. If there's predators outside, those animals want to go somewhere where they are safe. That is what shelter is for. And shelter can look very different for different animals. There are tortoises, like the desert tortoise that we have here at the zoo. They would normally dig a burrow into the ground and that's where their shelter would be. Even though they have that hard shell that covers them, they still need some extra shelter sometimes to stay safe from that weather. So they'll dig a burrow and be underneath the ground. Other animals will also build their own shelters, like bird nests. So you can see this one is built uh, kind of weave together from different grasses. This is amazing that animals are able to do this type of construction work, just like how we build our own houses. So nests like this allow birds to stay safe in the trees, and this is where birds would lay their eggs and kind of let their young grow up until they can fly. So a nest would be a bird's shelter. So not all bird nests are quite that complicated. Some are more just sticks and twigs put together um, and you kind of see the sticks poking out the side. Others like the one we just saw are actually weaved together very particularly, very impressive. Now one way that you can help pro provide shelter for birds is actually by putting up a bird house. Now these are a little different than the nests that we see. Some birds, uh, would actually live in the holes of old rotting trees. So even those old trees can provide that shelter. But around our homes, we cut down a lot of those trees because if they fall over, people can get hurt. So putting up a birdhouse like this with that hole in the middle kind of mimics the empty tree that a bird would use for its home. So that's why birdhouses are really, really awesome to use. Now here at the zoo, as you're walking around, you can see a ton of different shelters. So sometimes it's the barns that the animals live in at night. Sometimes you might see a little covering overhead or even some trees in with the habitats. Those are all different shelters that animals can use. Now, not every animal in the world goes back to the same shelter every single night. Animals like deer and antelope, they tend to travel really long distances. So they're not gonna build a home like the birds do to go back to every night because they would just end up abandoning it. So a lot of times these deer and antelopes will find a bush or kind of hunker down under some trees and that would be their shelter for the night as they are moving along. So animals find shelter in all different places, all different ways, but they all need some form of shelter to keep themselves safe. Check back with us later today to see a way that you can help provide shelter for some of our amphibian friends. Until then, we'll see you all later and have a great rest of your day.